Welcome financial enthusiasts. We are about to embark on an exploration of Warren Buffett's 10 principles. This journey will take us deep into the mind of Warren Buffett, an investment wizard who's been hailed as the Oracle of Omaha. His investment philosophy, shaped by years of experience and immeasurable success, has become a beacon for investors worldwide. Buffett's approach to investing goes beyond number crunching. It's a blend of discipline, patience, and a keen understanding of business fundamentals. Our purpose today is not merely to recite these 10 principles. We aim to delve into their essence, unpack their significance, and help you understand how you can apply them in your financial journey. Each principle carries valuable insights that can enhance your investment approach, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned investor. So buckle up and get ready because it's time to dive into the wisdom of one of the most successful investors in the world. Principle one, invest in what you understand, but what does that mean? Picture this, you're at a party and someone is raving about the latest tech stock. They're using words like blockchain, AI, and disruptive. Your eyes glaze over, but there's a nagging feeling that you should invest because you don't want to miss out on the next big thing. But here's the catch. If you can't explain what the company does, how it makes money, and why it's a good investment, you're essentially gambling, not investing. Warren Buffett, one of the world's most successful investors, has a different approach. He sticks to what he knows. He's made billions by investing in companies that sell products he understands, like Coca-Cola and Gillette. These are companies with straightforward business models that have stood the test of time. So how can you apply this principle? First, identify your circle of competence. This is the area where you have a significant understanding or expertise. It could be anything from technology to healthcare or even a hobby you're passionate about. The key is to stick to industries and companies you understand. Next, conduct thorough research and due diligence. Learn about the company's products, services, and industry. Understand its financial health by reviewing its balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statement. And don't forget about the competition. Are they a market leader? Do they have a competitive advantage? Finally, remember that it's okay to say, I don't know. Buffett himself has admitted to passing on investment opportunities because he didn't understand the business. In fact, he famously avoided tech stocks during the dot-com bubble because he didn't understand them. And we all know how that turned out. So remember, invest in what you know and knowledge will be your power. Buffett's second principle, value investing. But how can you find value in the market? Value investing in its simplest form is about finding and buying stocks for less than their intrinsic value. It's like finding a diamond in the rough or in Buffett's case, a Coca-Cola can in a bargain bin. It's about finding companies with strong fundamentals, solid earnings, healthy balance sheets, and good management that are trading for less than what they are truly worth. But how did Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, approach this? Well, he wasn't just looking for any undervalued stocks. He sought out companies that he believed were fundamentally sound and had a strong potential for growth. He didn't just buy a stock because it was cheap. He bought it because he believed in the company's long-term prospects. He once said, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. That's value investing in a nutshell. Finding these undervalued stocks requires research and analysis. It's not about following the crowd or jumping on the latest hot stock. It's about digging deep, understanding the company, its industry, and its competitive position. It's about looking beyond the numbers to the underlying business. And it's about waiting for the right opportunity to buy. And this brings us to another key aspect of value investing, patience and long-term thinking. The stock market is unpredictable and can often be irrational in the short term. But over the long term, it tends to reflect the underlying value of companies. So value investors like Buffett don't worry about short-term fluctuations. They focus on the long term, patiently waiting for their investments to pay off. As Buffett once said, the stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. So if you want to succeed in value investing, it's not just about finding undervalued stocks. It's also about having the patience to wait for the market to recognize their true value. Patience and long-term thinking, key ingredients for successful value investing. Third principle is all about evaluating the people leading the way. Let's talk about management quality. Just as a ship needs a competent captain to navigate stormy seas, a company needs strong and ethical management to guide it towards success. Warren Buffett firmly believes in this principle. 
He places great importance on the quality of management when making investment decisions. Buffett's criteria for evaluating management quality goes beyond just looking at a company's financial performance. He delves deep into the character and values of the people at the helm. He seeks leaders who are not only capable, but also committed to the company's long-term success. So, how does he do it? Buffett looks for evidence of integrity, intelligence, and energy in management. He believes that if a person lacks the first, the other two can cause harm. He also considers how well the management allocates capital and whether they treat shareholders as partners. But how can you, as an investor, assess management quality? Here are a few tips. First, review the company's annual reports and listen to earnings calls. These can give you a sense of the management's honesty and transparency. Are they upfront about the company's challenges? Do they take responsibility for mistakes? Second, look at the management's track record. Have they consistently delivered on their promises? Have they navigated through tough times effectively? Third, consider the management's compensation. Is it tied to the company's performance? This can be a good indicator of whether their interests align with those of the shareholders. Finally, look at the company culture. A strong and ethical management tends to foster a positive work environment. High employee satisfaction can be a good sign of quality management. Remember, investing is not just about buying stocks. It's about buying into a company and its leadership. If the people running the show are competent, honest, and shareholder-oriented, you're more likely to see your investment grow over time. Quality management is a crucial factor in the success of your investments. The fourth principle is a technique to protect your investment. Let's delve into the margin of safety. Margin of safety is a fundamental concept in investing, acting as a buffer against the unpredictable nature of the market. In essence, it's a principle that encourages you to be conservative in your estimates and always aim for a safety net in your investment decisions. So how does this work? Imagine you're looking to buy a car and you've estimated its value to be, say, $10,000. Now, if you find the same car for $8,000, that $2,000 difference is your margin of safety. In the world of investing, Warren Buffett applies the same principle. He aims to buy stocks for less than their calculated intrinsic value. The difference between the market price and the intrinsic value is the margin of safety. This strategy provides a cushion against potential losses from unforeseen risks or downturns in the market. Buffett's investment in the Washington Post Company in the early 1970s is a classic example. He calculated the intrinsic value of the company to be significantly higher than its market price, providing a substantial margin of safety. Over the years, the market price eventually caught up with the intrinsic value, rewarding Buffett for his patience and wise decision-making. Now, how can you determine the margin of safety in your investment opportunities? Start by calculating the intrinsic value of the investment which is its estimated true worth, based on fundamental analysis. Remember, this is not always equal to the current market price. Once you've determined the intrinsic value, compare it to the current market price. If the intrinsic value is significantly higher, you have a good margin of safety. As a rule of thumb, aim for a margin of safety of at least 25%. In the end, remember that while the margin of safety cannot guarantee profits or completely eliminate risks, it can significantly reduce the potential for loss. It's like wearing a seatbelt while driving. It doesn't prevent accidents, but it can certainly reduce the impact if one occurs. Remember, a good margin of safety is your cushion against potential losses. Principle five revolves around time, investing for the long term. Warren Buffett's strategy isn't about quick flips or overnight successes. It's about patience, perseverance, and understanding that wealth creation is a marathon, not a sprint. Buffett's approach to investing is akin to planting a tree. You choose a seed, plant it, nurture it, and then wait. Waiting is key here. It's about holding on to your investments for extended periods, allowing them to grow and bear fruits over time. Buffett himself has held some of his investments for several decades, weathering market storms and enjoying sunny periods, all while keeping a keen eye on the long-term potential. Now, you might wonder, why invest for the long term? Why not seize short-term opportunities and make a quick profit? The answer lies in the magic of compounding returns. Compounding is essentially earning returns on your returns. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, gathering more snow as it descends, growing bigger and bigger over time. In the short term, compounding might not seem like much, but over the long term, its impact can be profound. 
This is the power of compounding, and it's why Buffett encourages long-term investing. It's about harnessing the potential of time and letting your money work for you. Because at the end of the day, successful investing isn't just about making the right choices, it's also about giving those choices the time to pan out. Buffett's sixth principle is a lesson in contrarian thinking. This principle may sound like a riddle, but it uncovers a profound truth about investing. Be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. This quote from the Oracle of Omaha himself, Warren Buffett, serves as a compass guiding us through the tumultuous and often unpredictable seas of the financial markets. Let's break it down. Be fearful when others are greedy. This speaks to the danger of market euphoria. When everyone is buying, prices inflate, creating a bubble. As Buffett warns, this is the time to be cautious. It's not about running away, but rather about maintaining a vigilant eye and making sure you're not overpaying for an asset simply because everyone else is. Then, be greedy when others are fearful. This is the other side of the market's emotional coin. When panic sets in and investors start selling off, prices drop. This is the time to be opportunistic. It's about spotting valuable assets that are undervalued because of the market's fear. It's the time to buy what everyone else is selling, assuming, of course, that you've done your homework and the fundamentals of the asset are sound. This principle is a call for contrarian thinking, for going against the tide. It's about not being swayed by the market's mood swings, but rather using them to your advantage. It's about understanding that markets are driven by humans and humans are emotional creatures. Fear and greed, they are powerful forces that can cloud judgment and lead to poor decisions. So how do you implement this principle? By keeping your emotions in check, by being patient, by doing your research, and by not getting swept up in the market's fear or greed. It's about having the courage to think for yourself, to question the status quo, and to make your moves based on logic and analysis, not emotion. In the world of investing, going against the crowd can often lead to success. The seventh principle is all about understanding the true worth of a company. Let's focus on intrinsic value. Intrinsic value, in essence, is the inherent worth of a company separate from its market price. It's the actual value of a company based on an underlying perception of its true value, including all aspects of the business, in terms of both tangible and intangible factors. The intrinsic value might be above or below the current stock price, but remember, it's the intrinsic value that Warren Buffett cares about. Why is it so crucial? Well, by understanding a company's intrinsic value, you can make more informed decisions about whether its stock is under or overvalued. If the intrinsic value is higher than the market price, it could be a good investment opportunity, and vice versa. Now, how does the Oracle of Omaha calculate intrinsic value? Buffett doesn't use complex formulas or algorithms. Instead, he focuses on the fundamentals. He looks at the company's earnings, its ability to generate cash flow, the durability of its competitive position, and the competence and integrity of its management. Buffett also considers the company's future earnings prospects and the predictability of those earnings. Buffett's eighth principle is a reminder to keep emotions at bay. The financial world is a roller coaster of ups and downs, and it's easy to get swept up in the whirlwind of emotions that these fluctuations can induce. However, succumbing to this emotional tide is a dangerous game to play. Let's consider the dangers of emotional investing. When we let our feelings dictate our financial decisions, we risk straying from our strategic investment plan. Fear can cause us to sell stocks prematurely during a market downturn, while greed can lead us to buy overpriced assets during a boom. This reactionary behavior can result in significant financial losses. So, how do we combat this emotional tide? The key lies in maintaining rationality. Rational investing means making decisions based on facts, data, and logical reasoning, not on feelings or hunches. It requires us to separate our emotions from our investment decisions and to stick to our strategy even when the market seems to be against us. But staying rational during market fluctuations is easier said than done. It's here that a few techniques come in handy. One such technique is to practice mindfulness, focusing on the present moment and acknowledging our emotions without letting them dictate our actions. Another is to maintain a long-term perspective, remembering that the market has historically recovered from downturns and even reached new heights. Warren Buffett himself has a few words of wisdom on this topic. He advises maintaining discipline and perspective in the face of market volatility. Buffett once said, the stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient 
This quote emphasizes the importance of patience and discipline in investing, traits that are inherently tied to rationality. In conclusion, emotional investing is a pitfall that can derail even the most well-thought-out investment strategy. By staying rational, practicing mindfulness, keeping a long-term perspective, and heeding Buffett's advice, we can navigate the financial seas with steady hands and clear minds. In investing, being rational and disciplined will always triumph over being emotional. The ninth principle is a lifelong commitment to learning. This is an ethos Warren Buffett has lived by and one that has undoubtedly contributed to his extraordinary success. Buffett, despite his wealth of knowledge and experience, is a voracious reader and a firm believer in the power of continuous learning. He once quipped that he just sits in his office and reads all day. Buffett's intellectual curiosity is not just a hobby but a strategic investment approach. The world of finance is not static. It's an ever-evolving landscape, constantly shaped by new technologies, shifting global dynamics, and unpredictable market trends. To navigate this landscape successfully, one needs to stay informed, adaptable, and open to new ideas. Buffett's commitment to learning goes beyond keeping abreast of market movements. It also involves a deep understanding of the businesses he invests in. He's known for his meticulous research into the operations, competitive landscape, and future prospects of every company he considers for investment. This level of knowledge can only come from a dedication to continuous learning, but how can one cultivate this learning mindset? Well, it starts with a genuine interest in the subject matter. Develop a habit of reading financial news, industry reports, and company filings. Use resources like online courses, webinars, and podcasts to broaden your understanding of financial concepts and strategies. And don't shy away from complex topics. Buffett himself has said, You don't have to be a rocket scientist. Investing is not a game where the guy with the 160 IQ beats the guy with the 130 IQ. Another crucial aspect of learning is learning from your mistakes. Buffett has had his share of investment blunders, but he has always used them as opportunities to learn and improve. He advises, It's good to learn from your mistakes. It's better to learn from other people's mistakes. In conclusion, Buffett's ninth golden principle is about embracing lifelong learning and intellectual curiosity. It's about staying informed, being adaptable, and constantly striving to improve. Remember, in the world of finance, knowledge is power, and that power can lead to significant financial success. Never stop learning because the market never stops teaching. The final principle is a lesson in simplicity. Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors of all time, is renowned for his straightforward approach to investing. He believes in keeping things simple and this philosophy extends to his investment strategies. Buffett often prefers businesses that are easy to understand with clear business models and predictable earnings. He avoids complex financial products and strategies that promise quick returns but come with high risks and opaque structures. Buffett's preference for simplicity is not just about understanding an investment, it's also about reducing the potential for costly mistakes. Complex strategies can often be riddled with hidden risks and fees, which can erode returns over time. On the other hand, a simple, straightforward investment approach can help you stay focused, make informed decisions, and avoid unnecessary risks. So what does this mean for you as an investor? Well, it means you should strive to keep your investment approach as simple as possible. Start by understanding the businesses you invest in. Stick to industries you know and companies whose business models you understand. Avoid exotic financial products and strategies that you don't fully comprehend. Remember, if you can't explain it, you probably shouldn't invest in it. Next, keep your portfolio uncomplicated. Diversify, but don't overcomplicate things with too many assets or frequent trading. Stick with a buy and hold strategy, which is not only simpler, but also more cost effective in the long run. Finally, don't let the noise of the market distract you. There will always be new trends, hot stocks, and predictions about the future. But remember Buffett's words, our favorite holding period is forever. Stay patient, stay focused, and keep your eye on the long term. In conclusion, simplicity is more than just an investment strategy. It's a mindset. It's about making informed, rational decisions and sticking to your plan, no matter what the market throws at you. It's about understanding that investing is a marathon, not a sprint, and that slow and steady often wins the race. Remember, simplicity is often the ultimate sophistication. 
We have journeyed through Warren Buffett's 10 Golden Principles. We've delved deep into the importance of investing in what you understand, the essence of value investing, and the significance of management quality. We've explored the indispensable concept of margin of safety and the wisdom of long-term investing. We've interpreted the famous Buffett quote about fear and greed and the focus on intrinsic value. We've discussed the dangers of emotional investing and the importance of staying rational. We've highlighted the value of continuous learning and adaptation and the benefits of keeping it simple. These principles, when applied, can pave the way to a successful financial journey. They're not just rules, but a philosophy, a way of thinking that transcends the realm of investing. So as we conclude this guide, remember to incorporate these principles into your financial decisions. Wow, what an incredible journey through Warren Buffett's 10 principles. I hope you're feeling as inspired and empowered as I am right now. Remember, these principles aren't just words on a page. They're the blueprint for financial success and freedom. So what are you waiting for? It's time to take action and implement these principles into your own financial strategy. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, there's something here for everyone. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you never miss a new episode. And hey, why stop here? Check out other videos in the series by clicking on this playlist. Together, we're on a mission to achieve financial greatness and unlock the life of our dreams. Thanks for joining me on this journey, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll delve into the investment strategies of another financial titan. Until then, happy investing.